Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build the classic tic-tac-toe game with the help of Cloud AI. Interested? Let's go. So I'm going to open up Cloud AI and then we're going to type, can you help me to build the tic-tac-toe game, tic -tac game in React. Okay, so Cloud is going to generate um, the answer. And also what's interesting with Cloud compared to ChatGPT is because it's actually able to separate the code section an explanation. So the right side, you can see the source code for the game, the tic-tac-toe. The left side is the instruction or the explanation on how Cloud do it. So this is what we call an artifact in Cloud. And what's more interestingly, after Cloud able to generate the code, we can also actually see the preview of what can be built with the code that is being created, generated. So this is all the code. And this is the live preview and we can actually interact with it, which is nice, right? Apparently able to automatically generate the code and also show us what it's looking at the moment. So essentially, our tic-tac-toe is kind of completed, right? So now maybe we want to make the tic-tac-toe in terms of the UI much more interesting and we want to add probably a replay button. So on this chat, we can reply to Cloud saying that, can you make the UI more beautiful, all right? And we also want to get Cloud to add one button so that we can play the game every time we want to play. Um, can we make the UI more beautiful and add a replay button, okay? So now what is going to happen is Cloud going to make the improvement in the code, probably regenerate, and then return an updated version of the code that we have just now. So give it a bit of a minute or a second. All right, now it's much more beautiful and cleaner and we also have a replay button underneath the tic-tac-toe so let's say we're going to play for a minute so all right so now we have the winner x it's nice and then we can play again and now our ui is much more beautiful as you can see if there is a winner um, let's see it's going to be pop up with a green showing that the winner is zero right it's oh this is very nice okay i'm pretty much done i think i'm completed the project see I'm able to actually create a tic-tac-toe game with the help of AI and able to do it in probably less than five minutes, which is really, really incredible. And this is just the simplest use case uh, using cloud or using AI in general. This can help in every any projects that you can actually make your work much more faster or more efficient because your um, AI is going to help generate the code. And you can always improve it by giving prompts in the reply here to make um, whichever requirement you want to adjust. For example, like what I did just now, I want it to be more beautiful and add a reply button at the end, at the bottom of this game. And actually, you can actually um, check the previous version on the list here. See? So this is the previous version before our additional requirement. This is the updated ones. And you also can check the code also, which is really nice. So let's make something bonus. How about we want to get Cloud to help us run our project locally. And then also we're going to deploy it on the internet so that any other people can access the website and play the game, right? So the first thing we're going to do is actually get it running in our locally. So we can ask Cloud, can you help me, help me set up this project locally in my laptop, right? So now Cloud is going to generate the instructions, the commands that need to be, that I need to run to essentially run this project. So first is we need to have Node.js and NPM. So from, from my laptop, I already have it. And if you don't have it, of course, you can just install it here in hdvs.org. So because this is project, I asked it to run it in React. So Cloud, it put it nicely that we need to run and create, create React app, tic-tac-toe. So what I can do, I can run a copy, or I want to run it one by one. I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to open my terminal here. And then I'm going to go to any directory I want to create my project in. For this case, I want to create it in documents. So what's going to happen is going to run it and execute your app tic-tac-toe. Give it a bit of a minute. All right, so now we are able to actually uh, initialize the React project. And let's go to the next step. We need to CD to the folder we just created, which is the tic-tac-toe. So CD tic-tac-toe. All right, now we're in the project. What is the next step we need to do? All right, so apparently it is using Tailwind CSS for the CSS. So we're going to install the dependency for the Tailwind. So we're going to copy this. And then I'm going to paste this and run to install Tailwind and its dependency without any problem. And then we're going to generate uh, the Tailwind config file. Run this. And then we need to actually um, update that file. So I'm going to open a Visual Studio code here. I'm going to open that tic-tac-toe folder that we just created. So I'm going to go to desktop, 
uh, not desktop actually, documents, and then find tic tac toe here. And we're going to open this. And then we're going to edit the tailing config.js with the code that has been shared to us from cloud. So I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to replace this. And I'm just going to keep this there, no any problem. And the next step is I'm going to edit the source index.css with this file, with this line of code. I'm going to do index.css in the source folder, index.css. I'm going to remove all of this and then place it and save it. Then I'm going to replace app.js with the code that has been given just now. So I'm going to open the code here. So this is the code that I need to paste in. Okay, so I'm going to copy all of So I'm going to copy all of this open app.js over here and I'm going to select all of it and I'm going to replace everything in save this and then I'm going to open this bit copy all of this for index.js file over here and then make sure that it's more or less the same looking at this it is the same which is good next step is I can just run npm start alright so let's run our project so I'm going to open terminal over here All right, so if all goes well, we can actually run our project locally in our laptop. So I can still play as normal. All right, and we have a winner, still in the same nice UI, and also the button can still be uh, usable. That's nice. So we're actually able to run uh, our project locally. Now let's get Cloud help to actually deploy this on the internet. So I'm gonna go to Cloud again, and I'm gonna say thank you. Thank you, now I'm able able to run locally can you help me to deploy this uh, project on um, on github pages so what happened is i want to actually host my uh, website in a github pages so that anyone on the internet can actually play it with the link that is going to generate it from the github pages so now currently cloud is generating all the instructions and steps on how we want to deploy it using github pages so first of all, we need to create a GitHub repository. So I'm going to go from my GitHub, github.com. I'm going to create a new repository over here. And we're going to name it as tic tac toe And then we're going to search and just create a repository. All right. All right. First step is done. Next, we're going to go to our project uh, to initialize the Git. But usually in React, it's already initialized. So I'm going to stop this. Let's just check if it's already installed. I'm just going to say git log dash dash one line. If I have this, which means I git already initialized, so I don't need to do git in it. What I'm going to do is actually install a dependency called GitHub pages that allows me to actually um, do the stuff needed to deploy on GitHub. So I'm going to paste this, install this, run this. And then if all goes well again, um, I can install it, no problem. Next step is I need to add this in the package.json file. At the top level JSON. So over here, I'm just gonna copy this. Go to package.json. At the top level, is basically the first level of the nested um, object of this package.json. And then I need to essentially replace my username with my username on my GitHub account, and also the repository that I just created just now. So which means I need to replace this to Hafizuddin Sharif, which is my um, username of my GitHub account. And the repository that I just created is just tic tac so over here see this that's good and then i also need to add the scripts under the script object in the package of json um, so i'm going to copy this and then just go to scripts over here and then i can just add this at the top and then save this again and then what's next and then i need to copy my changes set up for game okay let's just copy this I'm just going to copy, oh, I'm just going to copy this. And then I'm going to clear this up. I was going to git add first, and then just kind of commit. All right, done committing, and I'm going to add the remote, which is this one. Git remote origin, just basically this one. But this one already um, fill up this needed information. And I'm just going to paste this. That's done. I have added the connection and then can push it using git push dash u origin master. So git push dash u origin master. All right, if all goes well, again, I'm able to push our project uh, to my GitHub account. 
That's my GitHub repository here. So I refresh this. I can see all my project already online in GitHub. Now we can get it to deploy the GitHub pages by just by writing this command npm run deploy. So npm run deploy is going to be deploying our project. Let's give it a second, a bit of a minute to get it deployed. And it's able to actually publish, which is nice. Now you need to wait for a bit for it to actually propagate the changes. So if you try to actually um, search for it, let me just copy this and then when I search for it, um, it's not going to be there yet. Okay, it's still propagating the changes it's needed. Uh, but if you go to here and refresh this and then open this branch, you're going to have a new branch created, which is uh, GitHub Pages. This is a branch that is going to be used to, uh, to basically publish your website. And that's that. Now our project is online. It's in the GitHub domain. Um, and anyone in the internet who has this link can access to my game and they can play without any problem, which is nice, right? And every time if you want to do any changes, you can do it with just committing and pushing changes to GitHub and then just run npm run deploy again. That's all from me. Uh, with the help of an AI, you can really uh, make your workflow much more faster and much more efficient because if you have any problem, you can just ask Cloud AI for help and it will give you a very nice display code that you can refer anything you want. That's all for me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.